Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm pretty excited because we got a brand new box in. It's kind of like Christmas here with the Gen X Pats when we get new boxes in. I love it. I'm pretty excited about looking at this thing here. This is the X3 Pro from Walkie. It's a 2023 model. It's a lot of upgrades from the previous models. So I'm not going to talk about it too much here because I'm going to open it up put it together, get into it, and then I'll talk about the upgrades later. This could be the ultimate fat tire, folding, beefy, long distance bike. So we've got 26 inch tires, four inch wide, like you've been seeing. It's a folding bike, so it's a big bike. It's got a really nice seat on there. It's supposed to be able to go 33 miles an hour. So this might be the ultimate in comfort and rideability and fun. So I'm really excited about this one. So let's get into it. Okay. I hope this thing rides as well as this package because it is put together and glued together. It's the first one that I've actually needed a crowbar to open. And it's glued together here. So let's take a look, see what side I want to show you guys. Okay. Generally what I like to do, if you've seen some of these, I like to cut the side of the box, which probably is not a great thing if you're getting a box because you've got 30 days to return it and you want the box. But I like to lay it out so I leave the cardboard down here and I can put everything together on the cardboard. I feel like Geraldo Rivera trying to open up a, uh, trying to open up a vault. Wow, tough box, tough box. Okay. That's a big seat. Look at that. That's a big wide seat. Spring on the back. Check out these. I like that, nice. Here's the fender up here, it's a polymer fender. So it's tough and quiet, so I really like that. Kenda, name brand tires, I like those. Puncture resistant tires, I love the white. That's really nice looking, huh? Wow, it's beautiful. Sharp looking. Oh, wow. Really nice set of Allen keys here. We've got the pedals, foldable pedals like we've seen before. Hmm, really nice wrenches. Oh, nice owner's manual. That's a three amp charger. Inside here's our battery, it's 48 volt, 20 amp hour, and our three amp charger here. So based on the other ones that I've done, a 20 amp hour battery and a three amp hour charger, Probably gonna be four and a half to five and a half hours, but we'll let you know. All right, so we're gonna go over the specifications for the X3 Pro by Walkie. A couple things I wanna point out. First, we've got four piston hydraulic brakes with 203 millimeter discs right here. So these are big, beefy brakes on here. We've got a very sturdy back rack. We've got a light on the back that's a, a brake light and comes on when the headlights come on. It's a full suspension bike. You can see we've got suspension here 
and we've got suspension uh, on the front there. Also, we've got big 26 inch, four inch wide Kenda tires. Our battery is inside of here. It's a 20 amp hour, 48 volt battery. So it's gonna get you about, I'm gonna assume 40 to 50 miles, but we're gonna test the distance on here as well. So I really, really like this bike. It's, it's been a lot of fun to ride. It's a fast bike, really nice headlight up here that really shows up bright in the nighttime. And then in the cockpit here, generally these don't show that well in on camera, but you can see it very well in the sunlight. We've got a battery indicator up here. Uh, really wish that it had the voltage or the percentage up here, but other than that, no big deal. You can see it well in the sunlight. You've got all your displays over here that you can go through. We've got our plus or minus to increase or decrease pedal assist mode. Uh, we've got I that we can kind of go through and you can see it's got the different modes for uh, as far as your odometer, your trip meter, your max speed, your average speed. You've got your headlight on and off. And then there's a neat little feature down here. You see walk. If you push and hold that, you can walk with it. So if it's going through grass or something like that, it'll help you push, push the bike. We've also got eight speed Shimano shifter here, uh, thumb and finger shifter. We've got our hydraulic brakes up here, which are name brand hydraulic brakes. We've got our adjustment right here, which is very good. One of the things that I did want to mention as well is that we've got eight gears, but we also have a 52 teeth front cog here. So one of the things about this is that when it's a fast bike, you can get up to about 34 miles per hour. But when you're going at that speed, you don't ghost pedal at all because of the gear system and because of the 52 teeth cog on the front. You can lock out your suspension here if you want. You also have an adjustment that you can make it firm or soft, kind of depending on your riding style. It also has plastic front and rear fenders. And one of the other things is it's a big bike, but it's also a folding bike. So same as the other folding bikes I showed you, you can easily push open it up and then you can fold the bike in half for folding and then also this is where your battery is located so you can take the battery out here and charge it in the home or you can actually charge it when it's still in the bike I just leave it in the bike all right so today I'm going to test this X3 Pro by Waki. And what I'm going to do first is I am going to go through all the pedal assist modes in throttle only. Um, and then I'll go through all the pedal assist modes uh, pedaling and kind of see what kind of acceleration and what kind of speed we get on here. So we're starting in one. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> so we are in pedal assist one here and we're using throttle only and right now we are going 14 miles per hour on the display and 11 12 total i'm gonna let it mile. catch up total time, four and 14 to seconds. see how accurate Speed both of them are miles per hour. so we're doing 13.5 on the gps and we're doing 14.1 on the display so about maybe a half a mile an hour difference but that's pretty good. Uh, I've been riding around on this bike a while and I really like this bike. It's been a lot of fun. So let's go up to Pedal Assist 2. So Pedal Assist 2, throttle only. And right now we are doing 19 miles per hour uh, by the display. And on our GPS here in Map My Ride, we are at 16.8, 17.2. Takes a little while for it to catch up. 18.3, 18.9, 19. So it's about same kind of deal, 19.5, 19.6. So it's actually pretty accurate when you give it time to catch back up. So we'll switch now over into pedal assist three. One thing I've noticed, this is a quick bike. 
It's actually the fastest bike that I've tested so far. So we'll see if I can show you the speed, top speeds that I reach. But I have had this bike going 34 miles per hour. So right now, pedal assist three. Uh, we're doing 24 miles per hour in display, 17 on GPS, 24.5, 23.7. Twenty-four, twenty-four point five, and pedal assist three, guys. So right about twenty-four and a half miles per hour on both GPS and the display. And I'll go up to pedal assist four. I'm gonna give my go down to the end and give myself some some time. It seems to get up to speed pretty quick, and the uh, acceleration is fine, but what I like to show is that the GPS and the display match. And for that, it takes a little while for the GPS to catch up. So I'm gonna go down to the end of the road here. A little bit nervous going through this neighborhood because the speed limit is 20, and I'm actually gonna get up to about 34 miles per hour. So <laughs> hopefully people don't see me zooming around the neighborhood and get, uh, get upset if so I'll have to find a different spot all right so here we go pedal assist for throttle only it's not blowing today it is chilly it's uh, just before this big polar vortex coming down so it is a little chilly here 28 on the display 29 and 28 on the GPS, 28.4, 29 on the display, 28 on the GPS. I think that's the maximum that we're going to attain in pedal assist for. All right, so let's increase the pedal assist five. On the display, we're up to 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 28. 29 on the GPS, 29.7, 30, 30.3 on the GPS, 31.2 on the display. So we will start back over in pedal assist one, pedaling this time and just using the pedal assist. So we're in pedal assist one, uh, pedaling, I'm in third gear, I'm going to increase the fourth gear. We are doing 14 miles per hour on the display, 10 on GPS, 11, 12, 13. One thing I will say, what I've done is initially the gear shifter was over close and I had to move my hand out. I uh, don't necessarily have big hands, but where this was set up, I, it keep hitting my thumb there. So I moved it out a little bit and it's a lot better now. I could probably move it out a little bit further. But anyway, in pedal assist one, you see that we're doing 13.8 and 13.8. So it's relatively the same here. So let's go to pedal assist two. Pedal assist two, we're at 19.2 on the display. 18 on GPS, 18.2, 18.4, 18.5, 18.6. So it's pretty close to same. And I'll move up to pedal assist three. Increase gears. One thing I do want to say is that on the front cog on this bike, they have a 52 tooth cog and it really helps. You're not going to ghost pedal at all, even in the top gear going 34 miles per hour. You pedal quick, but uh, you still feel resistance on there. So pedal assist three, we're doing 25 miles per hour. And on GPS, we're at 24, 25. So 25 miles per hour on both of them is about what pedal assist three does. The other thing I will say about this bike, uh, the display that I'm looking at, is really good in the sun. I have no problem seeing the display, no problem seeing all the information on there. The one thing that I would like to see, if I'm being completely honest, is it has battery indicator, just the bars. I do like 
if they have percentage, and I like it even more if they actually have the voltage on there. I'm going to give those cars a little bit of room because I'm probably going to catch them. Uh, and then I also like to see uh, the wattage going into the motor. Uh, so there's a couple things that I like that this display doesn't have. But other than that, it's really easy to see and, and it's uh, no problem at all in the sun. Uh, so here we go. Pedal Assist 4. And let's see what kind of speed we can get out of Pedal Assist 4. And I'm not putting a lot of force, I'm just basically pedaling. So right now we're at 25 on the display, 27 on the display, 28, 29, 29 on the display and 28 on the GPS. Twenty eight point one about twenty eight. That's what it looks like as tops out at pedal assist four. So we'll move up to pedal assist five here. Pedal assist five and see what we can get for a top speed. So pedal assist five and I'm pedaling. I've had this bike up to thirty four miles per hour, so let's see if we can do it again on a cold day. And you notice that I'm pedaling, but I'm not ghost pedaling by no means. So I'm 33, 34 on the display, 31, 32, 33, 339. 33.9 so a very quick bike oh and I'm tired other thing I would say is it's balanced really well have no problem some of these fat tire bikes they kind of pull off to one side or the other Whew. let me catch my breath a little but that's pretty impressive 34 miles per hour Ooh, I'm too old. Too out of shape. I generally like to pedal when I'm out, probably in Pedal Assist 2 or Pedal Assist 3. Hello! It is! This is a very well built bike. All the components on there. They're top notch, very solid, name brand battery. I know some people are worried about, you know, all the news and fires with electric bikes. Uh, that's kind of why you want to get a name brand battery. Love this bike. It's probably going to be my go-to bike, actually. Suspension's great. Nice, smooth ride. Big, solid Kenda tires. Nice brake levers. You know, some of these have kind of cheaper brake levers very solid nice grips I will say when I got it come in I had an issue with my front brake or rather with my front brake sensor it kept thinking that the brake was on and I uh, reached out to walkie and we diagnosed the problem they sent us brake sensor put that on and I've had no problem since so shout out to them for being great at customer support you know, every time I, I reach out to them less than 24 hours, I get a response. So, pretty happy with that. Like I said, the suspension's awesome. <laughs> you certainly, no problem riding out on roads, and you could take it off-roading no problem without having any issues. And that's the crazy thing. We've been out for 20 minutes, and I haven't even been riding, you know, like I typically do in two or three pedal assists, but I've been testing. So uh, it's 20 minutes. We've gone six miles already. How does that look speed-wise? 
fast. <laughs> that was 34 miles an hour. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's a fast. Yeah, I yeah. can't keep up with you. <laughs> no, that's, that's pretty quick. And that's it, guys. There you have the Waki X3 Pro. It's a really fun bike to ride. They also have a new bike now. It's called the Waki X3 Dual. It has a back motor, but it also has a front motor. So it's actually dual motors. Don't know anything about it, but I just saw that it came out. So here's a good chance to kind of look at it. But I know that this bike is really well built. It's solid. It's got really good parts on it. Uh, one of the things I would say here is when I was driving initially, these little shifters right here, when I, when I put my hands on it, they were a little too close. So I moved it out and now it doesn't, doesn't touch my thumb. So you can shift easily. So that's my, something that you might want to do to make adjustments on there. Other than that, that's the only thing that I did to this bike. I added, you know, a um, phone holder. But other than that, I didn't do anything to this bike. I really like it, how it's set up. It's got a really good uh, wide, soft seat. And did I mention that it's pretty fast? It's 34 miles per hour, so it's, it, it's fun to ride. One of the things I will say with the white here, like this here, you're definitely gonna turn heads on this bike. People are gonna stop you, ask you what it is. Is it an electric bike? <laughs> so we do get stopped a lot when I'm on here, but uh, it's fun kind of telling people about this bike and what it does. And they're kind of surprised about how fast it goes. And I'm really interested. I haven't had a chance to kind of find the, find out the distance yet, but I'm gonna find the distance for you and I'm gonna get Amy to put it up here. But I suspect it's gonna be about 40 to 50 miles because it's a 20 amp hour battery. So it should be fun to find out. Be sure to check the link in the description below so that you can get a deal if you go through our link. Also, as always, leave a comment, give us a big thumbs up if you like this video, and we can't wait to meet you out there.